Greetings, my name is Joseph, and um, I am just going over a package I just received in the mail today. I just received this package. Um, I was going to try to open it while I was recording, but the tape was kind of a pain in the butt. So what I did is I went ahead and opened it, and what I see here is a Klon Centaur, according to what it looks like. Um, there are some minor cosmetic differences. There seems to be some beveling on the sides on the real ones. But on this one, it pretty much is rectangular, a silver box. Um, the knobs look to be pretty accurate. Good quality knobs. The switch seems to be pretty good. Um, so we'll have a look and see what it is. Um, I've been kind of curious about this. This is the type of device that if it is a real cleanse, cleanse centaur, goes for thousands. So this for like about $52 and change. I was able to get this from Wish.com. It's probably not a real centaur, obviously, uh, but it looks like it is going to be a pretty decent knockoff from China. Um, not that that's a bad thing. So I'll go ahead and pause this recording. I'm going to go ahead and hook it up. I'm going to play this through my Les Paul Traditional Pro. It's an Epiphone Les Paul Traditional Pro. Give me a moment. Okay, so what I'll do right now is I'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, pedal through its paces. Um, I have it hooked up in the signal chain right now. I have it uh, first, so my guitar goes into the Klon first, and then into the two screamer mini, and then that goes into the classic metal pedal, which then goes into the front of the amp. On the X loop, I have a phaser uh, by Sound Tank. It's an Ibanez phaser and a, uh, a Donner Yellowtail um, uh, delay, excuse me. Delayed on that one. I, I, whatever. So, um, so yeah. So we'll, we'll go ahead and see what it sounds like. I'm getting some weird whistle in the background from my amp. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, this is what. All right. So that is the clean my amp and guitar by themselves. We'll go through the Tube Screamer to kind of compare the two. This is the Tube Screamer. That's what the Tube Screamer, tube screamer sounds like on its own through a clean sounding amp. Zero again. Now we'll just try the Klon on its own. as a clean boost. How about a clean boost in front of a uh, destroyed amp? Turn the gap a little bit, get a little more gain out around. 9 p.m. 9. Picker.
that's pretty cool. So let's go do the boost again. Oh, it's already on. So far, it sounds pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I'm not sure what I think about that noise in the background of the amp. I was thinking it was the printer, but there's nothing new here, but um, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. We got that all turned off. And uh, yeah, we're good. So, let me know what you think. Do you have one? Were you, were you thinking of buying one? Um, I would suggest it. I uh, don't know the difference between a gold centaur and a um, the silver one, but it's still a decent price. If you can find it, just go to wish.com and search for it. Uh, not that I'm promoting anything. I'm, I don't work for them. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, I just took a, a chance on a device, and I'm pretty happy with it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's a pretty awesome device. So I recommend it. So it's cool.